Natural Agriculture Development Program Zambia, in partnership with Shume International, just had our 10th anniversary. Food production, the most important part of people's life in rural bush villages, was the window of opportunity that allowed this project to get its start 11 years ago in Zambia. Our 10th anniversary is our 10 years of uh, natural agriculture show success. This year, we celebrate the 10th Natural Agriculture Show. These annual events have showcased Zambian rural community development for 10 years. In 2004, a global partnership between Shume International and the Babala Women Farmers Cooperative Union of Zambia began. Food production, the most important part of people's life in rural bush villages, was the window of opportunity that allowed this project to get its start with a young Zambian woman named Barbara Hachpuka. So basically, how we started this whole project is my mother in uh, 2002 actually brought the women farmers together to look at empowering small-scale women farmers specifically. She felt that women needed to participate in the development of not only their community, but also their country. Unfortunately, just after registering them and getting them together and managing to register 2,000 women under eight cooperatives, she died in a tragic car accident. And that left the women basically not knowing what direction they could take because the leader they had had died. Well, to my surprise, I took on the mantle and I became the next Miss Hatchpuka to actually create and build these cooperatives. And you know what? Somewhere along the line, there was a very great guiding spirit that actually led me to Japan around the same time that my mother had, the same morning period that my mother had died. And in that process, I managed to discover Shume International, who helped us introduce natural agriculture, which is a more environmentally friendly farming method. And not only that, it's more cost effective. The first encounter between Shume and Barbara Hachpuka was when Shume, together with the United Nations and the Global Peace Initiative of Women, sponsored the Asia Pacific Youth Leadership Summit in Hiroshima in 2004. Barbara Hachpuka was one of the African representatives at the conference. While in Japan, Barbara first learned about the principles of natural agriculture when she stayed overnight in Kashima Island a nature preserve where Shume has been practicing natural agriculture for more than 30 years. She recognized in an instant that the answer she had been praying for had been given her. In an impromptu encounter, she asked Alan Imai if he would come to Zambia and help the women farmers learn about natural agriculture. When I first visited Zambia in 2004, the majority of farmers were not able to afford to buy hybrid seed and chemical fertilizers. They were struggling with only one meal a day in their efforts to do so. In October of 2005, Alan Imai returned to Zambia. On this trip, with the great energy, dedication, and passion born of the Shume Way, Alan traveled to each of the eight cooperatives bringing with him local variety seeds that had been collected. Most importantly, Alan taught each cooperative the natural agriculture principles of seed collection and preservation for the increasing strength of future year's crops. More than 1,300 farmers were able to attend these sessions, learn the principles of natural agriculture, and sow the seeds of the future. Ten years later, those farmers practicing natural agriculture have learned how to save local variety maize seed and grow them without any fertilizers or pesticides. To date, the small pilot project that began in 2005 with 1,300 small-scale women farmers is now an established and registered NGO called Natural Agriculture Development Program Zambia, or NADPZ for short. Today, NADPZ works with more than 6,000 small-scale rural women farmers in three areas in the southern province of Zambia. This year, farmers will plant the 10th generation of those first native variety seeds in this coming November. This has by no means been easy or predictable. There have been difficult times. Over these 
past 10 years, we saw drought, heavy rain, and countless other obstacles. However, especially in those difficult times, natural agriculture maize often showed strengths and benefits. Today, these women farmers' families are eating three meals a day. This year, in the Pemba constituency project site, we opened the first two classrooms in a preschool facility. Magogavati. Gavati. Magogavati. <laughs> I'm very happy today to see the finally the opening of our school. We are invited here to share with you the knowledge and experience of natural agriculture, which doesn't require buying seed and no longer you don't have to buy depending on chemical fertilizers. And then after that, I have seen this community hall was completed by community effort. The wife and the husband and the youth, everybody came together and the beautiful home was open. And since then, we've been practice natural agriculture. Also, every year we did natural agriculture show. But when we think of the future, education is very important part of it. Because of that, in the opening of this school is committed for the rural development. Three things we would like to educate, discipline for the children, and also the principle of natural agriculture. And art promotion and appreciation of art and beauty. Hopefully, as, I, uh, as Barbara mentioned, this every year we would like to add classrooms. After uh, 12 years, we, this school will be complete. Hopefully, by the time this today's kindergarten student will graduate this school, we'd like to find a way to financially support for, as a scholarship and send them higher education. Hopefully, they will finish University of Zambia and with the commitment coming back to this community for the rural development. So let's, let's have a big dream from this community to the entire Zambia, even beyond to the African continent to, for the sustainable development. So thank you, dear parents, your support and understanding. Thank you. We plan to build another school next year at the Babara site. This project has received support from every level of Zambian society, from politicians in towns, constituencies, and districts, and probably even more importantly, from the tribal systems, the village headmen and chiefs. It is our hope to add additional rooms for each grade until the school is a complete primary school. Imagine these children going to high school 10 years from today. Imagine scholarships for some of them to attend university a few years after that. These children will be the future of community development throughout Zambia. Every year, annually, the Natural Agriculture Development Program Zambia, in partnership with Shume International, hosts a Natural Agriculture Show. The purpose of the show is to celebrate our culture and to also share with the community some of the good work that the women have done in growing natural agriculture. The wonderful part about it is it's such a celebration. It brings the women members of our cooperatives together, as well as people from around the community. And it allows everybody in the community to learn about natural agriculture. How they do this is by showing farmers how natural agriculture can succeed. So every women member farmers all have stands that display some of the activities that they do, whether it's growing vegetables, whether it's the maize seeds, whether it's the seeds they've uh, selected and kept. So it allows the community to come together and enjoy themselves. We now celebrate our 10th natural agriculture show. We've been doing this for 10 years and wow, what a success. It was a great opportunity for women from Pember Chikanta to actually come to Mbabala and witness what each one of these people are doing and yet they live so far apart but yet they're doing the same thing and their successes are the same. So it was a great celebration and we're grateful to have Shume International Youth, uh, 45 of them, join us.
uh, this year for our 10th agriculture show. And their display of taiko drums and dancing and singing was magnificent. And it brought two cult not only cultures together, but two different countries together. And that was a great celebration of the 10th agriculture show. Development, especially construction projects, are extremely challenging in Africa. At times over these 10 years, I thought it would be quicker and easier if I came to Zambia and directed the parts of this project myself. Compared to the way we are used to projects being done in the US and Japan, the so-called developed world, things sometimes happen very, very slowly. It requires tremendous patience, but I realize it has been worth the wait all the development that has taken place in these 10 years is because of the toil, the learning, the hard work, sweat and tears, and the preservance of this community of Zambian people. I would like to congratulate all of those people who came together in community to create what we see here today. They have created more than what we can be seeing with the eyes. Though this project has been focused on the empowerment of women, today we see a lot of men, youth, and children participating. It is their commitment to this project that made it what it is. It will be that ongoing commitment, the education of their children, the future generation that will create in the future more than we can even begin to imagine today. So, Shume International, Shume Japan, Shume America. Words can't express how grateful I am to you for having so much faith in somebody like me and the women of Mbabala and the women of Pemba and the women of Chikanta. For you to brave um, crossing the frontiers of Africa and helping us start something that is going to grow even bigger than we can imagine. So to the members of Shume International, Shume Japan, and Shume America, I am so grateful for the time you have taken to get to know us from pictures and photographs and reports that have been taken. The time you have taken to come to uh, speeches that I've, that I've had when I've had opportunities to be in Japan. The time you've taken to read the newsletters and to, to just get to know us. So we hope together, this is the beginning, and not the end. We hope together that we can actually change the world. So I look forward to many more years working with you and words can't even begin to express our gratitude. So I'm just gonna say for the moment, know that, know my heart and know my mind that all I can say to you is Twalumba. This year, just in time for the 10th Natural Agriculture Show, Zetsko, the Zambian Power Authority, connected grid power to the Mbabara project site. I think there's something symbolic about being connected to the grid. I hope that the power of this community development program will flow out from here, just like the newly connected electricity program. From this community to the entire Zambia, even beyond to the African continent, to, for the sustainable development.